Dear America, this Donald Trump thing, it's not all about you. They've been saying it about American elections for at least 50 years, but this year it's truer than ever. The world is watching, and we really are. Travel anywhere on the planet, and before long, in bars, in cabs, on street corners, someone will bring up Donald Trump. Something like it happened eight years ago, too, in the election that made Barack Obama president. But there's a big difference. Then the world was inspired. Now we're scared. Because Donald Trump will not only change America beyond repair, the rest of us aren't safe either. He said he won't rule out using nuclear weapons in the Middle East. He won't rule out dropping a nuclear bomb on Europe. He's promised to kickstart a new arms race, suggesting he'd expect Saudi Arabia and Japan to join the nuclear club. If you're a Muslim, you'll be banned from even entering President Trump's America. Islamophobia would be a matter of state policy in the most powerful state in the world. If you're a woman, you'll know that the leader of the free world thinks you should face punishment for having an abortion. Suddenly, it would be deemed acceptable for a man to make fun of a woman's appearance or her menstrual cycle on primetime TV. Blood coming out of her, wherever. If you're Mexican, you'll know that the American president thinks you're basically a criminal or a rapist. And we haven't even got on to what he says about Jews, the disabled and the Pope. If Trump actually makes it to the White House, there's only one thing you can predict about this wholly unpredictable man. There'll be a surge of what people will call anti-Americanism. People will mock the nation as dumb, vulgar and aggressive. It'll be like it was in the George W. Bush years, only much, much worse. But here's the thing. People will call it anti-Americanism, but that won't be what it is. It'll be anti-Trumpism, just like it was anti-Bushism 10 years ago. The truth is, the world is fascinated by America. When they're given the chance, they can love it. Look at the gushing adoration that greeted Obama's election. So don't get this wrong. Donald Trump is stirring fear and loathing across the globe. But it's not America we fear. It's not America we loathe. It's Donald Trump. Belatedly, much of America has come to realise that Donald Trump's candidacy, like his hair, may be brazen, ridiculous and ostentatious, but is in fact real. <laughs>